hey everyone welcome back in this video I'll show you how you can launch your uh, git bash terminal from the context menu if I right click and click on uh, open in Windows terminal as you can see for me it is the git bash but for you it will be either uh, the CMD which is the Windows uh, default terminal or it will be the PowerShell either of these it is the default and we don't want that but uh, we want the git bash uh, terminal but before we do that let me show you that there is uh, an issue with this uh, git bash terminal let me show you what that is if i type hello and if i remove it until the last character and if i press uh, the backspace again you can see there is a flickering this is a bug and uh, there is a solution that i will show you at the end of the video once we set up the terminal so let's close this one and start before we do that you have uh, to download the git bash and then go ahead and install it once it's uh, finished uh, your uh, terminal will not be looking like me as this one if you click as i told you there will be the windows uh, default terminal or the powershell so let me remove my actual files that i have inside the settings if I remove everything and save it it will be like this as you can see it is very big and at the same time it is the power shell is not the git bash so let's fix it to fix it uh, first of all you have to click uh, on this uh, little drop down if I click it as you can see there is uh, an option says settings if you click on this it will open inside the text editor that you have as you can see there are a lot of things and you don't have to know every single one of them <laughs> let me show you what are this this is the default profile that is uh, if I copy this one as you can see this is highlighted here this shows that our default uh, terminal is the PowerShell this is for the PowerShell this is for the CMD and this is the cloud shell I think if I replace this key if I copy this one and come up here and paste it and then save it I'm going to close this one if I launch it again our command uh, prompt should be up and it should replace the PowerShell of course we don't want this and then here comes the settings I got the settings from the internet it was quite a lot of work so let me show you I will paste this uh, comments uh, inside the description as well and I will put this uh, JSON file somewhere you can download as well so if I go ahead and copy this one copy this one default profile and you have uh, to come down all the way here inside the list this is for the PowerShell of course we, do, we don't want for the PowerShell but for the git bash right I come inside uh, the list and the very first item that is inside the list I'm gonna paste it here paste it and then for the guide as well I'm gonna remove this one I'm gonna copy this one and then I'm gonna paste it here the guide is also uh, done and then the next one is the name let me copy the name I'll show you where the name will appear if I remove everything and save it the name is the git bash after that we have the command line and there is the icon if I copy the command line I'm gonna copy and paste it what is the command line command line is uh, actually as you can see here it is the powershell.exe we are gonna remove this one I think this is the same for everyone and it should not be an issue after that we are gonna I think we are almost done and I'll uh, add a couple of more options later on if I save it and then I open the terminal if I go here as you can see I have the git bash right but there is no icon here this is for the command prompt in order to add that icon I'm gonna copy this command copy and then I'm gonna paste it here if I save it again I'm gonna open a new terminal as you can see the icon is also back now of course we don't want to switch to the git bash command prompt from here but we want this to be default 
in order to make a default we're going to copy this default profile copy this one this is our default profile whenever the terminal launches this one will be launched as well so if i paste it here and save it let me close all of these terminals save it and then if i launch it again as you can see we have the git bash ready and running so this is for the git bash and there is that flickering i'll uh, show you the flickering first but first of all the size of the window as you can see this is very big we don't want this to be that big of course and then i have some properties if i copy this one come inside the default profiles app do not go inside the list if so if you go inside the list this will not work so let's copy and paste it here this is the column the width and the height of the terminal let me close it you can of course find all of these inside the json file that i'm gonna put inside the description let's launch it again and as you can see the window is much smaller you can make it even smaller if i make this one 80 and save it close this one i'm gonna launch a new one as you can see it's much smaller now to fix the flickering open your uh, file explorer and then go ahead and copy this directory which will be in the description let me copy this one and then paste it inside the quick access if i hit enter i should be taken inside this directory there is a file called input or c we are gonna modify this one there are two commands for this one that will uh, change it and fix the issue so let's do it if i click right and open uh, in windows terminal and then i'm gonna type the nano this command will be available inside the description and you can copy this one and paste it here if i put input rc this will bring up uh, another uh, command line if i delete this one next command will be set bell style let's copy this one the first one was visible we're gonna paste this is uh, this one first if i hit enter and then i'm gonna type this command again set bell start and then we are gonna make it none if i hit enter again and then i'm gonna hit control o once if i hit control o i'm gonna hit enter again enter and then i'm gonna press control x to get out of there so if i launch the terminal again and if i type again and remove this one the flickering should be gone and there we go ladies and gentlemen we have a fully functional command line working with no issues if you think this video was helpful drop a like and i'll see you around